Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the XFAT file system error in Windows 10. The XFAT is a system file that stands for Extended File Allocation Table and is being used by manufacturers on USB sticks and on SSD drivers. Sometimes when there is hardware failure or software corruption, the XFAT file system error can appear and it can be quite problematic if not resolved quickly. So stay tuned and let's take a look at how to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be running the troubleshooter. To do that, you have to click the start button in the lower left corner and just write settings, then press enter. Just go to the update and security section. Then select troubleshoot from the menu on the left. Click the blue screen from the right pane and click run the troubleshooter. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the troubleshooter. You can always try the Microsoft built-in troubleshooter for the BSOD errors. This is probably the easiest solution for almost BSOD issue because it basically solves the problem for you. Another great solution is updating outdated drivers. Most BSOD errors, including the XFAT file system error, can happen due to outdated device drivers. The lack of an up-to-date system can lead to lag and other system issues. That's why it's always recommended to update your drivers whenever a new update is available. Another great solution could be restricting Windows from automatically restarting. What you have to do is click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type View Advanced System Settings. Then click View Advanced System Settings. Then in the System Properties window in the Advanced tab, just go to Startup Recovery and click the Settings button. Then uncheck the box from Automatically Restart. Click OK to save the changes. After you have performed these steps, Windows will not perform a sudden reboot anymore. Once you have used this solution, you will have time to apply changes. You can also try installing all available updates. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner and typing Update. Press Enter. In the Windows Update window, check for updates and install the available ones. After the update is complete, restart your PC. Keeping your system up to date can keep you safe from many errors. Microsoft constantly updates Windows in order to improve the system's stability and fix various issues. And another useful solution is checking the memory issues. Click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Windows Memory Diagnostic. Then click the Windows Memory Diagnostic application. Then, in the wizard window, just select Restart Now and check for problems. Now Windows will reboot and will proceed to detect any RAM issues. Once the process is completed, the device will restart again. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.